We all know that during this pandemic, so much has changed. But there's one industry that has seen big changes that may have gone unnoticed to most of us. And it's those who cater to those who've lost loved ones. Oh, it's, un it's unprecedented. Um, funeral directors are having to uh, do things significantly different. Uh, the care for the deceased hasn't changed significantly because uh, funeral homes have always dealt with people who have died from various diseases. Uh, tuberculosis many years ago, uh, more recently in my lifetime, the AIDS uh, epidemic that took place and uh, hepatitis, uh, and now we're seeing this particular thing. A lot of unknowns with it. I think as we move forward and we see uh, and discover things about this particular disease, perhaps we'll be a little less fearful, but it's certainly impacted people, uh, the number of people who can attend a funeral. Um, but, you know, the process remains the same. People have a death and they're still grieving. And so we're trying to figure out ways that we can accommodate those needs. I think the biggest change has probably been the disappointment in people, uh, or the disappointment rather that people have, not being able to connect with their family and friends in the ways that they want to connect with. Um, people are still coming. They're still stopping by the funeral home and viewing a deceased. We're not having the large gatherings that we used to have. We're not using limousines like we once did. We've done away with uh, large gatherings and, and uh, visitations that we would have where family would be here to greet people in the, uh, the evening prior to a funeral. We've had to make changes in uh, the way that we meet with a family, uh, significant numbers of people coming in for that event. but. Probably the, the embracing of technology has been the biggest thing that we've dealt with. I've had the great fortune of having staff here who's very capable uh, technologically to be able to set some things up. I reached out to some people in the community like you who've uh, shared some of your knowledge base with us. And uh, so live streaming of funerals has become a significant part of what we do now. It's just simply a way for people to be able to connect with each other and not physically be in contact with each other. We want to thank people like Becker Raybon Funeral Home for coming up with ideas and ways that we all can stay connected, even during difficult times during this pandemic. For Oklahoma Life TV, I'm Eric Sherum.